All right, and I am back finally. I know it's been like what two and a half, three days since a video. My freaking lord! It's, it's there's been so many reasons why. So first of all, I've been gone for a week. I went on vacation for family reasons. Uh, I wouldn't really call it a primarily a vacation. We went for you know a family emergency type of situation. Uh, and then when we found that everything was okay, we started sightseeing and stuff, so, as a family. But anyway, so we came back after a 13-hour drive. Um, and then, given the fact that we were gone and our son was with us, meaning he wasn't going to bed in his normal area, um, he did sleep with us for the time of the vacation. And therefore, coming back after doing that, he just does not go to sleep on his own anymore. So, what that means is that... A lot of the time I had, in which I would used to put him to sleep and record my voice and do live commentary during that time, doesn't exist right now. <laughs> so we're having difficulty trying to make time to record. Uh, so I can record videos, just not with live commentary. But then I have to do live commentary after the fact. Or not live commentary, like this, this voiceover, I should say, after the fact. Whenever he does fall asleep, and it's been difficult lately. So, finally we got some time, though. I'm pretty happy that we can eventually get these videos out to you guys. There's going to be a lot of analyzing type of gameplays for the time being. Bear with me, because, you know, like I said, the, situa the situation right now is not the best for videos. But once my wife comes off her work week, I will make sure I have videos um, with live commentary ready for you guys. And have a cushioned amount so that if there does be a situation, well, my English is so bad. If there is a situation where um, I can't do live commentary recordings again, I'll have some on backup. But anyways, so we are doing a tier two Rona video. Uh, gonna be doing some weapon power this time around. I generally like to go CP just because I'm a bursty type of hero person. Uh, I like to go CP Ringo. I like to go CP anything really. Just because the burst is fun. Uh, but we're growing weapon power today to mix it up a little bit. Um, if you guys don't already know, I suck really bad with Rona. Every time someone's like, do a Rona video, I'm just like, good God. <laughs> uh, ooh, that was a nice dodge too, though. But I do get chased by the Fortress, which, which is not great. Fortress, which is not great. Gosh, my English is just not on point today, guys. I think it's just because I'm tired. Don't get sleep. My son doesn't sleep. Nor do I get to record because my son doesn't sleep. <laughs> so we'll, we'll, we'll make it work, guys. All right. So that was really bad right here. We should not have not gone back in. Or we shouldn't have gone back in. My goodness. Freaking Rome to get your English on point, boy. <laughs> oh, God. My grammar is horrid. Anyways. So we're going uh, heavy blade or heavy steel, whatever it's called. I don't uh, first, uh, gonna grab some defense as well, heading towards an ages because our counterparts is in fact CP. Counterpart being our enemy jungler uh, is in fact CP. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I, I'm not the greatest with Rona. Um, I definitely had a lot of trial and error trying to get this video for you guys. Um, if you guys don't know, YouTube is not always just, oh, it's so easy. He just gets on, records one game, and then he's good. No, no, it does not happen like that. It does at times where, you know, if I'm playing a Ringo video, I'll just get on, play Ringo, and in general, I'll be fine, and I can use that video. But a lot of times as a YouTuber, you're forced to play heroes that you don't main or that you just don't play at all. Rona being that hero for me um, and it's, it's one of those heroes that I just don't have the ability to grasp well with for whatever reason and I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate there's like that one hero that you guys just don't understand why you suck so bad with right I mean some of you guys might just be so great that you don't have that but I think in general cases most people have a single hero that they can specifically think of that they're just they do not play with uh, great regardless of what they try uh, and that's rona for me uh, so i think i played like three matches prior to this one during this day 
to get this recording for you guys. Now, I do try to post videos where it's a good match. If I lose, it's fine. But my general idea of posting a loss is it has to be worthy of a post, meaning it's not just me getting obliterated and it's just boring because of that. Now, if it's me getting obliterated and it's fun and I was kind of laughing and enjoying it, I'll post it like I did the rhyme. I lost in the rhyme video and I was just like, you know what? I'll post it anyways because I don't freaking care because it was funny. And also I was in a rush because I had to leave for my trip. But regardless, like I don't mind posting losses. It's just it has to be a close match in general. Um, but yeah, so. But finally, we got a match. Whether we lost, we won or lost, I'll leave it at that. I don't want to reveal the results unless you just want to skip ahead, you cheater. But um, yeah, we are on our way to building a looks like a serpent mask. Eventually, gonna build a blazing salvo where we already did, and we're gonna go into a breaking point at some point. Um, but we're going to hold on to just the Blazing Salvo and not finish out the breaking point until we get some nice defense going. I think the general build for Rona when it comes to weapon power is you want to get that heavy steel, get that silver mask. I'm hoping I'm calling it right. Heavy steel, heavy blade, whatever. Um, the precursors to silver mask. You go Blazing Salvo, then you go defense. Then as you start to get a little tanky, you build off your silver mask. And then you build tanky again. And then when you get to a point where you're comfortable not dying a lot, then you get your breaking point and then you shred people with your ultimate. That's the general consensus. You also want to get a Shiva Steel a little, I want to say a little early, depending on the situation. But Shiva Steel is great for Rona because it allows you to stick to them. Um, but yeah. I don't think I get it at all, even. I don't, I don't remember. The death on wheels was a little bit AFK there for seconds. I don't know why, but we took advantage of that, obviously. <laughs> this Catherine went in. I don't know why, but whatever. I'm going to go ahead and just bounce. Oh, I do die. Everybody's sad. But I was, I think I was close. I think I was just really shy like, of that little bit of health I needed to make it work. All right, so we are looking at the Serpent Mask, figuring out what we need to build. I go ahead and go with the Eulogies. Um, I got the Ages completed, so we're doing pretty good on that aspect. Uh, so we're going to try to work towards the Serpent Mask. And then from there, we'll probably go like a Atlas Pulgrim because there is a Saw. And generally, if you're going against a Saw, especially Weapon Power, you want to get an Atlas Pulgrim. No matter what your role is. Um, if you're a jungler, if you're a roam, you get Alice Bolton. If you're a laner, depending on what kind of laner you are, then you would get like a metal jacket or an Atlas. Depending on if like you're melee laner, then you would get like an Atlas. If you're like a range laner, then you'd probably get like a metal jacket. Um, yeah, so here we are trying to peel for our Adagio so he doesn't die. He gives me a thumbs up in appreciation of my, my attempts to save his life, which I appreciate because... Boosting morale is awesome. There we go. We're, we're trying to do this smart, but it's just not working for us right now. Um, but we do try to do our ultimate and unsuccessfully did anything there. And we didn't even use our ages. Now, I knew as soon as I died, I remember this particular point. I died, and I was just like, why is my ages not being used? <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't I use it? So I made sure from this point forward, after realizing I didn't even use my ages, to use my freaking ages. So I think for the most part, I think I activated it in every engagement. Maybe one other one I didn't, just because sometimes I'm not the best at multitasking, which includes activating activatables. Um, but I am trying. All right, so there we go. We got a good fight there. We got two kills and no deaths. So that's great. I don't know. I think Adagio... I think Adagio definitely needs some adjustments as far as being a roam. I think his issue is, is that he is like through and through like a CP mage type of hero. And therefore, because of that, his heal doesn't really scale well with um, like the, the fights as they go on. Because he is a squishy roam, 
and he needs to have some substantial heal to keep himself a threat. Uh, healing himself or healing an ally. Uh, and the fact that it doesn't scale with health, like Lyra, I think is an issue. So I think if they were, like, I mean, I don't know. I've been thinking about this. If they actually added like an, a, an effect like that, that'd be awesome. Um, like his heal scaled off of health, like Lyra. Because once I saw that on Lyra, I'm like, dude, why doesn't Aldagio have this? Um, but yeah. We'll see what happens. Oh, and it looks like uh, they are. Oh, there's my Aegis. I popped the Aegis. <laughs> but I died anyways. Whatever. <laughs> I popped it, though. You saw that, didn't you? I popped it. Yep. I sure did. I am a pro. All right. So here we are getting some more weapon defense. Or not some more. Getting our first weapon defense, the light armor. Uh, we did finish up the Silver Mask. We're going to go ahead and leave the Blazing Savo as is. And head towards an Atlas Pauldron because Saw is going to be an issue if left unchecked. So we definitely want to make sure that we handle him appropriately. I don't know if I like the whole stacks on the Adagio buff though. I mean, it's fine if I had more stacks, but I feel like it's just too low. I think the stacks overall are too low. I think it should be at least um, maybe three to four more hits on those stacks. I don't know. I guess they're just trying to sway away from that meta where Daja buffs Saw and just shreds everybody. Or shred or buffs any kind of attack speed type of hero and shreds anybody. So I think that's what they're going at, but still I feel like they just they, they took too much power away from Adagio. Uh, especially since his heal doesn't scale off of health like Lyra. So he just does not do well. But I don't know. I'm not saying it's his fault that I'm dying, I'm just saying that it just I don't think it's the best. And also, I don't think Adagio really scales well with Rona, per se, with the buff. If it's the heal, sure. Keeping me topped off when I'm doing my, my spin, my red mist. But buffing me while I'm spinning doesn't do anything for me. Not to say that he's done that, but if he does do it, it's wasting a buff. Because I'm not doing basic attacks, I believe. I don't know. I'll have to check and see if he does buff me. And then when I spin, if I actually use those stacks. I don't remember if I do or not. One issue I have with Rona is the fact that I'm not used to um, the stutter stepping on melee, which I think I need to really start working on. Like If it's Glaive, it's, it's fine. I, I, I play a lot of Glaive in the past and still kind of do. So I'm like, that's one of the heroes I'm used to as a melee, but anything else, like I think I feel like I have a really bad grasp on stutter stepping when it comes to melee outside of Glaive. Because I'll, I'll mess up the stutter step a lot. Like on Cruel, on uh, Rona apparently. Those kind of heroes. But hey, this is great. You know, you get to see where your flaws are and work on it and go from there. So I ain't complaining. Alright, I'm getting used to it. You guys, yeah, I'm doing fine right there. See the stutter step starting to get fleshed out. Oh, man, sorry, Johnny. Okay, we got our overdrive on our ultimate. That's good. I'm grabbing the backs there real quick. Go, go, go. They're going to grab my backs. I got the minion mine. I'm just going to grab the regen and then head on back because I already got the fronts, or at least the regen front. <clears throat> All right, we're 8, 4, and 3. That's not too bad. Oh, oh, yeah, I remember this now. So, I do get an Atlas Bojan, but God, dude, like, I don't know who was popping the Crucible or if it was, in fact, Saw popping his his uh, Reflex block, but they were good at blocking this Atlas Bojan. It was annoying. But then again, you know, if you're playing with a Saw weapon power, you know that you have to be ready to, to block an Atlas Bojan. So that's probably a lot of times why they block it, because they're, they're highly alert on when someone's diving on Saw and when to block that Atlas Bojan. I think the biggest thing about <clears throat> when they have the ability to block Atlas Bojan quite well, the, the thing you need to do, which I, I think I do it sometimes, it's not all the time, is that you need to wait to use your Atlas. Wait till you see that popped and then you go in. So there it is. Like, So now I casted it, but then they had another one, I think. I don't know. Um, so I feel like I think Saw did it, and then somebody else popped a Crucible. But 
Can I get the Catherine? Can I get the Catherine? Uh, no. <laughs> we don't get the Catherine, but we are going to go ahead and get the backs again. <clears throat> yeah, so like, I think a Shiversu would be great right now. Or at least, you know, tier 2 boots. Uh, because I don't have any kind of way to stick to people effectively. Now, my B does give me a run speed, but it just is not enough to secure the kills because it doesn't last long enough. Uh, and it's hard to to chase somebody who has mobility themselves. Like Catherine or like Vox, that kind of stuff. So you really need that Shiver Steel to be able to stick to them because even if they have mobility, that Shiver Steel severely dampens their, their mobility. But we're working on getting that breaking point. Uh, the reason why is because I definitely want to be able to red mist and build up my damage rather than have the same amount of damage throughout the entire red mist because uh, that's really where she shines is getting that breaking point stacks during that red mist increasing the effectiveness of the super mask and also doing an immense amount of damage overall to the entire enemy team um, but you just got to be able to land it right uh, that's really where it comes down to how often do you play a rona which will translate into how effectively you can use her abilities uh, so I'm, I'm learning as we go, but I'm definitely seeing some situations where um, I feel like I could be a lot better. There's, there's another block. Gosh. But we are shredding that song. That's good. And we are going to take out the Catherine. There we go. And now the Fortress. Uh, just using the boots to stick to the Fortress here. There we go. Using that run speed. There we go. Ooh. Bam. There is the kill. All right, so 11 4, 5, not too bad. I'm doing okay without the Shiver Steel, but I really feel like the Shiver Steel would be great. I probably should have prioritized getting that Shiver Steel, I think. Because one, it's a lot of health. Two, it also gives me that ability to stick to an enemy. Like I was talking about before. And there we go. Spinning. Spin for win. trying to stutter step. This is actually, um, usually when I get Kraken, or when we're getting Kraken, I really try to practice my stutter step. It's, it's one of those things I try to do. I, I tend to like to do that. I don't know why. I mean, it's good. It's a good practice because, <laughs> I mean, as long as you're not messing it up too bad, you're actually doing more damage, so. All right, trying to get myself in a position where I can jump this saw. Turret goes down. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna use my Atlas Bouldron. There we go. And the spin didn't really need to be done, but whatever. And do we go ahead and take out the Catherine? We do. And we had to jump out. Well, we should have jumped the other way. <laughs> I don't know why I jumped this way. But I'm just gonna sit here until the turret goes down, and then the other target, the other turret targets the ally. So there we go. I should have just jumped down. But, uh, whatever. There goes another turret. I don't have full health, unfortunately. But we should be able to take out the second turret quite quickly. There we go. Now, this one's a little bit iffy because Saw can shred me if I'm not careful. I'm going to let the sky do a lot of the damage there. Looks like we're going to bounce out because the Kraken is down. I'm going to go ahead and just jump out. Saw will definitely shred me. Looks like Sky is going to die too, though, because she doesn't have an ability to get out. Unless she can get the enemy to sit against the wall and then use her Surrey Strike to leave. But that's like, it had to have a lot of finesse to get that done. I just spin right there. If you guys are wondering why I was spinning, it's because I was trying to get the wolves to go away. <laughs> uh, but this sucks right here. Oh, God. Hey, I used the Aegis again, though. Yay! Way too much damage, though. I should have just backed out like a dodger wanted. My bad. That's one of my flaws, is where I, I tend to get a little too aggressive or just overly confident. There's a shiver steel. So now all we have left is our boots. Uh, we're probably just going to infuse, more than likely, but, uh, ooh. Is he gonna survive? Oh no, this is soft. And an ace just in time. Like freaking Sky literally 
came up as a Dodger died. Freaking always like that. I don't know about you guys, but it's always like that for me. Like, it's always where at the very last millisecond, the ally dies and they and we get aced. It's it's never ceased to amaze me. So there's the infusion. We have the shiver steel. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go in. We're gonna pop the the atlas Bulgin. No one's running yet, but we're gonna go ahead and just pop the uh, shiver steel anyways because we can go ahead and chase now. Uh, but it looks like it's going to be pretty nasty right now. We're not going to survive. And I am going to bounce. I don't know what the sky was doing there. Maybe she was low. I didn't, I didn't really see. I can't say that I blame her maybe. I don't know. But I felt like I was alone in that fight where sky was just kind of sitting there. But like I said, I didn't really see what happened. So I can't really say she did anything wrong there. I would totally rewind it, but then I mess up my sink here. Dodge was just picking at that. Uh, what? Okay, I guess he just decided to give it up because he's going down to the Kraken. Nope. Okay, that, that was weird. <laughs> he, he skipped a big minion to go to get the smaller minion. All right, so it looks like Kraken is getting taken down slowly. We're going to head there as fast as possible using our A to jump maybe. No, looks like we're not. What about you guys? Do you guys like use an overdrive on your A when it comes to weapon power? I, I can see where the benefit would be, but I feel like it's still not something I generally do. Use that shiver steel rumbly. Oh damn! Well, oh, there it is, but it's too late. Uh, yes, yes. There we go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there it is. All right, cool. A little late on the shiver still, I admit. That was a little late. Um, but we're going to go ahead and just press her win. The the Kraken, we don't really want to deal with because, one, it would take a while to take down. When we can just take out the turret and then go for the win. Um, but we do lose one of our turrets, though. But there we go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this Tier 2 Rona. I know I was a little late. Sorry about that. Like I said, real life takes precedence. And therefore, I was a little bit behind. But we're back in action. Uh, just expect a little bit more analytical type of gameplay for now. Until my wife gets back from work where I can actually record with live commentary again for you guys. So bear with me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video regardless though. The build was Super Mask, Breaking Point, Shiver Steel, Atlas Bulldrin, a Crucible. And I probably would have gone like a Warhorn. Or maybe even a... Um, a house here in chargers, but there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Later.